Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 12 second tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be talking um, some more about the uh, brush tool options. As you can see, I think I taught you about opacity and size, uh, but there are a whole bunch of other options here. Now, uh, this tutorial, uh, I'm going to be using the paintbrush, but it's also going to apply to any other tool that uses a brush. So like the eraser, pencil, airbrush, even the clone and healing tools, it's also going to apply to. So anyway, um, okay, so if I just make a um, dot right there, so if let's say I want to make a straight line, all I have to do is hold down shift and um, this like preview line I guess is what it's called um, it's going to show me where the line is gonna be so I can um, click and it's gonna make a line I can click even more and uh, like you know do stuff so anyway another thing you can do with making lines is when you click you can hold down shift but if you hold down control while you're holding down shift what it's going to do is it's going to um, as you can see it's very jumpy it's not like um, like it was before. That's because it's using constrained angles, which are like um, very common angles. So this is a 45 degree angle, um, but it would have been like almost impossible to do if I had just like um, messed or, you know, if I hadn't held down control. So anyway, um, another thing I want to talk about. So let's say I um. I'm using a paintbrush tool and I or a, a pencil or something like that and I want to select a color and uh, s uh, set my primary color to that color well instead of having to go all the way to the color picker tool what you can do is just hold down control and then click and it'll do the exact same thing so that's uh, really nice <clears throat> and also let me see oh yeah so you see these opacity and size and how they have like bars and stuff and they have numbers inside of them well anyway there are a lot of ways you can change the values inside of them you can click these arrows right here and what they're you know they'll just lower or raise them um, these things to the right of them they're gonna reset the values so that's nice and um you can select it and then enter in a value you can um oh yeah and also you can drag to um where you um drag the size up and down so if i have um this mouse cursor it looks like it has um two arrows pointing sideways so if i uh click while that's the mouse well while the mouse cursor is that then whenever i drag it's going to drag the value too but it's going to be very slow now if i have um the other mouse cursor um, it's going to have an arrow straight up um, just to the ceiling I guess and if you click it's just going to tr like literally just drag it's not going to be slow at all so anyway to switch between the two mouse cursors all you have to do is if you're in the top half of the bar um, then it's going to have this mouse cursor but if you go into the bottom half of the bar it's going to have the two arrows pointing sideways so that's nice and uh, yeah, so if I just set this to 100 and press enter, then, um, okay, so let me just see if I zoom in here. As you can see, this is a perfect circle. Um, it's equal in width and height, height, but, um, if I like, uh, there's this thing called aspect ratio, and you can set a value between minus 20 and 20, and if I like, um, set a positive value, it's going to make it wider than it is high so it's gonna take the brush and make it wider than it is high and if I have a negative value it's going to uh, make it taller than it is wide so um so there you can like mess around and do some really weird stuff with that so anyway uh, the point is if I just do like something like 3.14 which is pretty cool but anyway uh, so if I just zoom in here um, there's a thing called angle and what it's going to do is it's going to change the angle of how the brush is tilted so if I just put in 45 as in a 45 degree angle it's going to tilt it 45 degrees uh, clockwise so anyway yeah so a uh, positive value will be 
um, like tilted clockwise. A negative 45 degrees would be uh, tilted counterclockwise, as you can see right there. Uh, you can have 90 degree angles, which are just going to be like straight up and down, and 180s are just going to flip it. So. Uh, there you go and also let me see oh yeah another reason why I um, had to use a brush with the aspect ratio instead of just using the circle brush um, is if I tried to use the circle brush with the angle nothing would happen because it's a circle it would just like turn a circle which really isn't any different so anyway uh, as you can see there are these things called dynamics and dynamic options now I um, I'm gonna have to make another tutorial for um, that subject just because it's a really huge thing so anyway uh, moving on so let's go to apply jitter so if I just uh, let me see zoom out a bit so apply jitter you might have guessed it's just going to apply jitter um, to the, uh, the brush so anyway if I just try to make a straight line, as you can see, it looks really horrible, but if I have apply jitter on and then I try to do it, as you can see, um, it's going to look very bad. Now, um, my mouse cursor, um, let's say that my mouse cursor was like really bumpy or something. So if I try to um, just draw a straight line and, oh, not, whoops, wrong thing. So if I uh, try to draw another line with uh, apply jitter on it's going to do the exact same thing to like the exact same line as you can see a uh, straight line and a jittery one the higher you raise the jitter the more jittery it's going to be as you can see and if you raise the jitter high enough it's not even going to be like um, near your mouse pointer most of the time uh, which means that if I like zoom out here and if I put the maximum jitter on and if I try to do it, it's going to be literally like everywhere else. It's kind of really weird. But um, so there, that's what apply jitter does. Also, uh, there's this thing called smooth stroke. Now, uh, there are these two settings, quality and weight. Now, I have no idea what quality or weight means. I've tried researching it on the internet. I could not find any documentation on to what they mean. The only thing I do know is that it's going to make your uh, brush strokes um, smoother when you raise both of them, not just one, both. So uh, if I like try to make a curve or something without using smooth stroke, it looks horrible. Now, uh, I think these are the default settings so if I just try to do it again, it looks equally as horrible. Um, now, if I like uh, try to um, just raise one but have the other one at like the minimum, it's going to do nothing. And you might have guessed, it's going to do nothing when I do the other one. So um, there, they all look very horrible. But let's say I raise the, um, both of the um, brushes equally. It's going to um, not really look that different. If I raise them a bit more though, as you can see, um, sometimes like like right there, the stroke isn't even where my mouse pointer is because it's trying to smooth it out. Um, this is a lot smoother than the ones above. So if I like um, raised them to the maximum, as you can see, um, the stroke isn't even near my mouse pointer. And when I try to make a curve, it's going to like um, just very um, make a very smooth curve. So as you can see, this is very um, smooth compared to these horrible looking bumps, I guess. So that's a smooth stroke does. And there's this one last thing I'm going to talk about, incremental. What uh, that does is if you have it off and you have an opaque brush, let's just set it to like that or something. And if I just start... Um, drawing as you can see um, it doesn't like uh, how do I explain it so yeah it, it'll make that part of the image darker because it's black and it's opaque which means it'll just like make it a little bit um, darker but if I have like the airbrush as you can see when I go back on uh, where I already went it's gonna make it darker in um, those areas as you can see like right here um, now I uh, think what incremental does is when um, 
yeah, as you can see, it's a lot darker for some weird reason. Uh, so if I just set the opacity down a bit, when you go back on yourself, it'll be like the airbrush tool, and it'll like make that area darker. So that's what incremental does. Um, you can just like go back on your tracks, and it'll make um, that darker. Uh, but if you have it off, then it's just going to um, not do that. So uh, anyway, uh, I think. Yeah, I uh, actually think that's uh, it for this tutorial. Uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.